about how sweet this box is. Oh, I shame. Dolce & Gabbana is extra. It's extra, but we love them for it. So, we're good. We're good. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title below, it is a favorites video. Yay! It's a favorites video, and I haven't done this one in quite a while. And I thought that, you know what? I have the time now. Let me just jump right into it and do this video as quick as I can and move it on. I do not like to do um, favorites videos like monthly, like you know, there's monthly favorites and what have you, because I feel like it's it's just not enough time to try things out and wear things and what are you gonna put into a monthly favorites video? It's just a lot, it's a lot. So in this current favorites video, I've got a couple of things. Uh, I've got body care things, I've got skincare things, and I've also got some shoes and a little bit of makeup products. So if you would like to see what I have been really, really enjoying and loving for quite a bit now, then please do keep watching. So the first thing that I have loved, and I'm so happy that this concealer is now here, like, I bought three of them. I bought three of them, and I, I bought three of them without having even tested out one. But because we had heard so much about this uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer, that we heard so much about it from overseas from youtubers overseas that i really once i saw it and once i saw that it was in colors that we women of color could use i was so happy i actually saw it on um a queen's pleasures she's actually got a youtube channel and she's on instagram i saw it on her insta snaps and i'm like oh, it's here already what the and I went and I bought it and I picked up three and I'm so so happy I did. 10. I'm 10 caramel. I took 10 caramel and it works really really well. It's light, it brightens up the area underneath my eyes and it works wonders. I love it. It's thick. It covers everything. It's, it's quite on the pricey side compared to the fix me what Maybelline fit me <laughs> fit me concealer this one is around the 180 mark and I think that one's around the 90 100 rand mark I don't remember but this is really really good. And then something that I've been stealing from my sister, and she has no idea I've been stealing it, is this. And this is from Switch Beauty. This is the Prime Time Kit. And it's basically to just prime your uh, lips before you apply on anything like lip uh, gloss or lip, any lip product, basically. But I've been using it. It's been sitting in my room. She's just, she's got no idea. I've been using it as a lip balm, generally, before I go to bed. There's no scent to it or anything like that, but it's actually very, very moisturizing. It's actually quite thick and it works really really well for me i i just wanted to try it out it also comes with a gel as well but i picked up this one and i really really like it i stole it from my sister and she's not getting it back so yeah wanted to give this one an honorable mention then an oldie but a goodie that i've really really gone back to and i've used quite a bit um in this last couple of weeks especially around um just to outline precision my brow area. This is the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep. I use these two colors right now, for now. I've only recently started using it a couple of weeks ago. I never used it. I used to use the LA Girl one and just put it on the back of my hand and then dip the brush in. And But this one, something about it, it makes your application very, very precise, more precise than the LA Girl one would because that one is more liquid than this one. So when I dip my brush in here and I sort of outline my brow, it actually works really, really well. And with the darkish areas that are around my um, mouth and around my eyes, I before I put on a foundation, I will then uh, use this orange color right here to correct and it works really, really well. And I've enjoyed having it in my makeup purse and I thought, you know what, I've revisited it. I really wanna try it out again and talk about this one because I really, really like it. So yeah, it's quite pricey. Mac, Mac is pricey. Mac, Mac, okay. The next thing on the beauty front that I really, really like are these. And I really, I started using these literally in the video that I filmed before this, which was a chatty get ready with me. I like them. I really do. They are soft. The bristles are just so soft. These are from uh, BH Cosmetics. It's the rose gold and black brushes, face brushes. I'm actually thinking of ordering another set and just filling this up. They are really, really nice. They are so soft. They're incredibly soft. I really, really like them. Um, so I can't really say that they're shedding or much or what have you, but 
I enjoyed using them the first time that I started using them and I thought I'd give them an honorable mention because when you know you're going to enjoy something then why should you wait and not say anything no no then moving on to skincare the two standout products and I've talked about them in a skincare video just recently so I'm not gonna get into too much detail but my two standout products are these ones from La Roche Posay this is the um, uh, pigment Clar eyes and this is what I use for my dark circles and crow's feet around my eyes it works so well it has lifted my the area around my eye was so dark that I was just like I wasn't happy I would always put makeup on even when I didn't really want to but just conceal a little bit especially if I was going out to the store or something and I was like nah I wasn't happy with the way the skin around my eyes looked but since using this ah uh, guys <laughs> it has lifted the dark circles and continues to work so I'm definitely going to be on this product for a while this is the eyes and this is the pigment claw serum so this is what I use before I apply my moisturizer normally at night and it works so 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 well it's the um, uh, intensive anti-dark spot uh, corrective cor concentrate corrective concentrate intensive um, anti-dark spot concentrate and it's really really good as well so I wanted to give those an honorable mention too and another skincare product that I've never really talked about on my channel but I'm going to mention it now these are the Garnier Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask this is the pink one which is the super hydrating soothing mask I actually really really enjoyed this one only mainly because um my skin was very, very irritated. If you watch my skincare video, you will know about this. I mentioned it. My skin, and I'm talking about my full on whole body, not just my face. But on my face, my skin was quite irritated and I was developing a very small rash around here and here. And I figured, oh, I'm glowing. I'm glowing even on my chin. <laughs> and I figured that, uh, let me just try this one out because it says it comforts and soothes and it really, really does. So this one, you just tear it up, you take it out and then you plonk it onto your face and you wait uh, about maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'll wait 30 minutes sometimes. And then I remove it and then I just rub the remaining product onto my face. I've got quite a few of these here. Yeah, at home but I actually really 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 enjoy them body care so as I was saying my skin had been breaking out with rashes all over so the other day I had a rash somewhere here like in my decolletage area it was so bad the other day I had it on my back the other day I had it on my thighs it was just pretty much everywhere it's a rash that would come and go I thought it was something I ate I thought it was something I don't know what was going on so the two products that I got one I bought at Discam and it's this one this is the Palmer's Roche body lotion it has helped me so much so so much because it's very thick this one is very very thick and moisturizing but it works really really well in terms of uh, uh, working on my irritated skin but the savior of the day and I'm supposing that this is because of the aloe vera that's in this I received this in a pe press package and this is the mineraline uh, aloe vera body lotion this is the 250 ml it's got aloe vera for some reason when I started using it within a couple of days the rash had lifted it was so so nice it smells oh my god it smells so good it's like refreshing and light and just uh, eucalyptus -y. you know something that smells very mint like and eucalyptus like this one smells like that but it's aloe vera and it's enriched with dead sea minerals I don't even know I don't even know but I, I used this and I really really enjoyed it I got it in a press package and I wanted to try it because I've heard that aloe vera has great healing properties in terms of uh, skin irritations as well so I wanted to try this out I did try it I still have a little bit of it left and I really enjoy it it's a 250 ml but when I was in this camp the other day walking around and I saw it it actually retails for about 150 for this 250 ml bottle so I'm so glad that I got in a press package and I tried it out but I really really love it if you are somebody who tends to have sensitive skin I think this would be a really really good product for you to check out definitely think so and then a perfume how do I go without mentioning a perfume no do you see this if you know what perfume this is click 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 like and click the subscribe button and tell me immediately once you stop this is the Dolce Gabbana light blue intense oh intense oh intense 
So this is not the just the Eau de Parfum, but this is the intense version of the um, uh, the perfume, and this is essentially what it looks like. Actually, I'm on my way to work, and I haven't actually used this, so yeah, I tend to go extra with my perfumes, okay? But it smells absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to try light blue, but when I got to just came where I purchased this one, the lady was like, no, try light blue intense. You're gonna like intense because it lasts a whole lot longer and it really does. It sticks on my body for the whole day. I absolutely love it. I'm a very, very big fan. I've had it for about maybe three weeks now and I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, thought I'd give it an honorable mention. And this box, can we talk about how sweet this box is? Oh, I shame. Dolce & Gabbana is extra. A extra, but we love them for it. So we're good. The last two things are shoes. <laughs> She's that I really, really, really love and I wanted to make, show them to you. So the first pair, if you do follow me on social media or you watched my marble vlog, you may have seen these ones. These are shoes from Castellos. Castellos? Castello. They sort of look like, they're just slip-ons and uh, almost look like loafers to be honest. But I love them. It's a leather shoe and it's got pearl detailing. I love wearing it when I'm wearing a very simple plain black or whatever colored outfit but I want a little bit of detail in my shoe I picked this up and it's got a little bit of a stone butterfly right here and then it's got the pearl like stones on here it's such a beautiful shoe I'll insert a picture where I'm wearing the shoe uh, but essentially that's what they look like they are available at Castello I don't think they are now but that's where I purchased them from so the last shoe <laughs> Is a sneaker because Gatlo always wears sneakers. Can you see the detailing on the shoe? Look at him! What? What? <laughs> so, so damn dope. So damn dope. I absolutely love, love the sneaker. You will see some pictures of the sneaker uh, coming up, up close if you, I already haven't. Uh, put them on the channel but I did a photo shoot and one of the pictures that I did I was wearing the sneaker it is so dope I love it it's a scream statement sneaker and normally when I wear it I dim down my outfit completely I, I will be in a plain outfit but with a little bit of detail in the sneaker and I absolutely love it so yeah these are from Castello as well pick those up dope 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 that's pretty much it for me. Those are my current favorites. I don't have many makeup items because I'm not buying much makeup. I've been buying skincare, I've been buying clothes, I've been buying whatever, but not much makeup because I'm trying to stay away from that. You guys know that I'm not gonna be too huge on the beauty videos, so I don't feel the need to keep up with what's coming up in the makeup world. However, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your current favorites are. And if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more of them, please click like and please subscribe and join the JK family. Until the next video, I will see you very soon. Bye!